In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to use Substack to create your very own newsletter. Substack is a wonderful platform that allows you to reach your audience directly through email, and it's incredibly simple to get started. Let's walk through the process together. First things first, go to your Substack account. Up there in the upper right corner, you'll see your account icon. Click on that, and in the drop down menu, click on settings. This will take you to a place where you can manage your account details. Once you're in the settings page, look for the option create another publication and click on it. This is where we start setting up your new newsletter. Now you need to name your publication, choose a URL that represents your brand or the theme of your content. Something catchy and easy to remember is always a good choice. After naming your publication, hit the continue button to proceed. If you already have a mailing list from another source, here's where you'll import it. Click on select file to upload your mailing list. This step ensures that your existing subscribers are seamlessly brought into your new Substack newsletter. But if you're building from scratch, you can manually add subscribers by entering their email addresses. Once done, click on continue. Now let's get to the heart of it, creating your first post. Click on new post to begin. Choose text post to start drafting your content. A good title grabs attention, so begin by typing one that is engaging and informative. Next, you'll want to highlight key points in your post and add a subtitle to give readers a taste of what's coming. Once you have those in place, fill in the body of your content. Be thoughtful and genuine with what you share. This is what will keep your readers coming back for more. When you're satisfied with your post, head to the upper right corner and click on continue. You'll have options for distribution, decide whether you want to send it to everyone or just paid subscribers. For reader engagement, you can choose whether to enable or disable comments. To keep your post organized and searchable, don't forget to add tags. Whether it's technology, lifestyle or business, relevant tags help readers discover content that interests them. If you're looking to time your publication perfectly, you can also schedule it for a future release or send it immediately. Before you send it off, make sure to select the option to deliver via email and the Substack app, ensuring your message reaches as many people as possible. Finally, hit send to everyone now to publish your post. Remember that after sending, you have the option to add subscribe buttons, which encourage new readers to sign up and keep your audience growing. And there you have it, you've just published your first Substack newsletter. I hope this guide was helpful and that you're feeling confident about your newsletter's journey. Happy publishing!